My name is Scott Rosen, if you don't know me already. Um, I want to bring in a word of encouragement to the body. And uh, the word is immutability. How many know what that word means? We have a couple of you. I believe this is a word that Lowy probably has lived on daily for all of her life. Um, you can read out of a little book by A.W. Tozer here. All that God is, he has always been, and all that he has been and is, he will ever be. Nothing that God has ever said about himself will be modified. Nothing the inspired prophets and apostles have said about him will be rescinded. His immutability guarantees this. The immutability of God appears in its most perfect beauty when viewed against the immutability of men. In God, no change is possible. In men, change is impossible to escape. Neither the man is fixed nor his world, but he, is, but he and it are in constant flux. Each man appears for a little while to laugh and weep, to work and play, and then to go make room for those who shall follow him in the never-ending cycle. In this world where men forget us, change their attitude towards us as their private interests dictate, and revise their opinion of us for the slightest cause, is it not a source of wondrous strength to know that God with whom we have to do changes not? That his attitude towards us now is the same as what it was in eternity past and will be in eternity to come? What peace it brings to the Christian's heart to realize that our Heavenly Father never differs from himself and coming to him at any time, we need not wonder whether, he shall find in, whether we shall find in him a receptive mood. He is always receptive to misery and need, as well as to love and faith. He does not keep office hours nor set aside periods when he sees no one. Neither does he change his mind about anything. Today, this moment, he feels towards his creatures, towards babies, towards the sick, the fallen, the sinful, exactly as he did when he sent his only begotten, into the, only begotten son into the world to die for mankind. God never changes moods or cools off in his affections or loses enthusiasm. His attitude towards sin is now the same as what it was when he drove out sinful man from the eastward garden, and his attitude, attitude towards the sinner the same as when he stretched forth his hands and cried, Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God will not compromise, and he need not be coaxed. He cannot be persuaded to alter his word nor talked into answering selfish prayers. In all our efforts to find God, to please him, to commune with him, we should remember that all change must be on our part. I am the Lord, I change not. We have but to meet his clearly stated terms, bring our lives into accord with his revealed will, and his infinite, infinite power is instantly operative towards us in the manner set forth through the gospel and the scriptures of truth. How wonderful to know that in a world that has so much change going on, governments rise and fall. The stock market goes up and down. Lives are taken in an instant. Babies are born. We live lives of constant change, but to know that our God is a solid rock that we can depend upon, that we never have to worry about whether he's going to say, oh, I love you today. No, not today. You know, you did this. So I'm not going to love you. God's not like that. God is so kind and so gracious and so merciful to us that no matter what, he says, I love you. And that is why I sent my son for you. And you can count on me.